Welcome back to Good Day Alabama, everyone. The time 724 Monday, Tuesday, planning for those worst case scenarios. Do you know what would happen if somehow you became incapacitated? This morning, four documents you need to know about situations that you may find yourself in. Financial planner Stuart Welch joins us today. It's good to see you. Good Thanks morning. So much. Okay, you know, we're talking about, I'll go and throw those four documents out there. Durable power of attorney, revocable living trust, health care proxy, and an advanced health care directive. You've talked about these things before. You say you've got to use these as tools if there is a situation where you simply can't make the decisions anymore. That's exactly right, Rick. And what I'd like to do on, on this one is focus on the uh, revocable living trust because we've talked about the power of attorney and the health care proxy many, many times. But the revocable living trust, I, here's a great story. I had a client, it's an elderly lady, who's... Uh, some relatives threatened to come in and go to court and become the trustee of her assets, of her money. Mm -hmm. And these were exactly the people she did not want. So what we did was we established a revocable living trust and moved her assets into that trust. Now, mm -hmm. it's revocable by her. And she's the trustee, but if she ever were declared incompetent, now this document names who the successor is, and she moved that that power to somebody that she trusts, and rather in, instead of these relatives who who were trying to go to court. You know, basically, it protects you to be able to make the call, even if it's too late to kind of make the changes afterwards when you get to that point where you can't make your own That's call. exactly right. We all know people who have become incompetent they, through a stroke or an accident uh, and, and that can happen very, very suddenly and then it's all too late. So the revocable living trust is, is a very unique way in order to control who's going to control your assets if you were to become incompetent. Obviously this is something you don't do on your own. You sit down with a financial yeah. planner or, or advisor. You need to sit down with a lawyer out there and try this, to work This is with a legal about. document yeah. so you will need an attorney. Okay. And so that, so there will be some costs involved with all of that. Uh, basic, uh, basic information there when you're talking about durable power of attorney, revocable living trust, health care proxy, advanced health care directive, all need to be discussed by a family when they're sitting down and talking about the future. Exactly. It's good to see you. Thanks, Thanks so much for, for being with us today. Uh, let's go over to Mickey once again. Okay, Rick. Thank